Andre, can Andre. you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Wonderful. Okay, thank you so much for your patience. I'm so sorry about that. That's okay. So what was your question? You were talking That's about how, how your wife wants to save the marriage? Well, um, well more so I, I wanted to save the marriage. Okay. Um, so basically, just to give you a nutshell what's going on, um, my wife, um, you know, before all the, you know, turmoil and stuff, a couple of months ago, we were talking about babies, the next house, because we don't have any kids yet. Mm -hmm. um, and then all, all of a sudden, um, she says, I want to feel free. And then she started date or seeing her ex. Um, and then she kept continuing to tell me that's not what it was. And she's not seeing him. And then it turned out that she was actually seeing him going over to him a couple of times. But then she says she wants to work on the marriage. Mm -hmm. um, and she's trying. She's trying her best, but she doesn't feel uh, fully attracted to me. Mm -hmm. And she feels attracted to him. But then, I, like, you know, I guess our head, we butt head because I'm like, well, if you're seeing him, it'd be harder to be attracted to me. Yeah. And um, I, you know, I, I, you know, like, she wants to stay separated. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's just, just to feel not as bad for stepping out in the marriage. Could be. And I told her, I said, uh, and I, I told her, you know, like I'm, you know, for, for me, usually, you know, we, we usually, we've been through some stuff, not, not like this, but usually, you know, we go pray about it, you know, mm -hmm. church, whatever. And then, but in this case, she doesn't want any advice, none of that stuff. Right. Um, and it, it, it's to a point where, you know, like I told her, I said, like, I'm going to, I'm just going to work on me. Uh -huh. uh, I just, that's what I've been doing. Right. And, um, that's what it's been and then she she's been continuously she says she's not seeing or saying talking to her ex but then it turns out that she still will be mm -hmm. even just recently she still you know she went to go see him again right so how can but we help you I, Andre? I, what can we do for you um i at this point you know i i, I don't know if there's any other option but divorce but I, I i don't know like i feel kind of like there's some people saying, you know, if you love her, continue to try. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, of course, the feeling of, you know, like it's, it, it feels like I'm stupid for staying. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a shot to the manhood, you know, to be here as an option. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, um, so what does your heart want, my friend? Um, I, I want us to, you know, seriously see if we can make it work. Yeah, but you know, if she's continuing to see him, right? That's basically a uh, circle. Yeah, and I'm sure that hurts. That's very painful. You understand, of course, that when people are doing things that they know they shouldn't be doing, they often lie. Now, I know it hurts. You don't want to be lied to, but surely you're not shocked or surprised yeah. that she would lie, right? Uh, well, when she when she lied, you know, like she, you know, the I finally found out she was lying because she's usually not, she's not a good liar, by the way. She doesn't lie often. And, um, right. But I understand that you hurt because she, she uh, lies. Yeah. She, she's seeing the guy you find out, but she's telling you she's not. She's separated. Uh, you probably will not be successful in getting her to come back by trying to talk her into coming back. You do understand that, right? Yeah, I think I understand that now. Because, because you're dealing with emotions and when you, when you deal with emotions, logic typically does not win. And so if you say, here's a logical reason why you should do this, here's why you should do this, here's why you should do that. Typically the other person, even if they, even if they hear you, which often they don't, but even if they hear you, it's like, no, but what I feel is so much more powerful than that. So here's my question, Andre, you, she was talking about having a baby with you and then that relatively rapidly changed. Is that what you said? Well, we tried a couple of times. I know she has like, you know, the fibroids and stuff like that. And it was kind of, I don't know if that made it. There, there's so much different angles that, you know, of course it replays in my head. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm asking um, the wrong question. You know, Let me ask the question better. From the time that she was wanting to have a baby with you until the time she got involved with this other guy, was it relatively fast or a long period of time between? Well, 
to me it was fast, but she said she's been feeling this way from before. But it, I, I, I'm kind of, con- I'm not sure if that's true or not. Okay, or, so I'm not, I'm not asking what I she's feel like feeling. It fast. I'm asking you this question: From the time she was saying let's have a baby until the time you know she got involved with the other guy, how much time passed? Um, let's see. I think about two months. Okay, so that's fast. That's fast. Did anything happen in those two months? For example, did she wind up getting really frustrated because she didn't get pregnant? Or did some other thing happen like she lost her best friend or her daddy died or she lost her job? Other than the fact that she couldn't get pregnant, did any other thing occur in about that same period of time? Um, well, yeah, she was she was very frustrated, frustrated with the, you know, the pregnancy because one time she right. really did think she was pregnant. Right. Um, arguments with her mom. That's usually like something. It blows up pretty bad. Okay. And so um, there were kind of some precipitating factors going on, right? There were some things going on so, other okay, than also just stress the, from her job. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I say and also stress from her. From her job. Okay. Those kinds of things don't justify what people do, but they certainly can become, they can become factors as to what they do. Because it's like, this is not working. This is not working. I'm frustrated. I'm miserable. It sometimes people call this, no matter what age people are, sometimes people call this midlife crisis. We don't use that phrase. What we say is if a person has experienced some grief based on the fact that this is what I want but this is what's happening, and I don't think I can get what I want. While other people might call that a midlife crisis, we said that's a grief process. And in the grief process, people often will gravitate to whatever they think is alleviating the pain. And if that turns out to be another person who's the right place at the right time, and it appears that a relationship with that person alleviates the pain, then often they'll gravitate toward that person. What they're really doing is exchanging their pain for hurting you. But it's like I'm going toward that. Now, if that's the case, you're dealing, if, if that's the case, I'm just taking some guesses here, but if that's the case, you're dealing with a woman in a lot of pain. And that means a lot of emotion. And if he has become her drug of choice to help deal with that pain, then nothing that you do logically is going to affect this. If you want, if you want to stand for your marriage, I understand your, your, your male ego is hurt. Mine would be too. I understand that. But that pain and him as being the medicine for that pain, it's not going to work. And so she might be with him a while. I, I can't tell you how long she will or won't. But at some point, that's not going to fix it for her. Now, whenever that happens, in all likelihood, she's going to abandon him. And so what we teach is, if you follow the principles we talk about, like in our online course and things like that, if you follow those principles, then what happens over time is, when that other thing begins to fade, when it doesn't get them what they're looking for, then they finally start looking at you again. And, and it's going to be a matter of, they're going to see that you have grown, you've become better, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like, how in the world could I leave that good man? Because, because I've seen, I'm seeing now, I didn't see it then, but I'm seeing now that this man is who I need to be with. And so if you choose to stand, it means you've got to consistently Keep doing the things that we talk about where you become the best you you can be. Now, you can walk away anytime you wish, if you wish. And I know you're hurt and nobody would blame you. But based on what you're telling me, what she's seeking to alleviate the pain she's feeling, not going to work. And so at some point, at some point, she's going to be looking around for something else. And if you really love this woman, and if you think at heart she's a good woman, then... Standing makes all the sense in the world. If you think she doesn't have a good heart, that she's not a good person, then standing doesn't make any sense at all. So it really becomes Mm. your choice, my friend. So which is she? Is she a good woman that's messed up or a bad woman? Um, I think she's a, I think she's a good woman. Then if you choose, if you choose to stand, you've got a shot at this. I can't guarantee you it will work. But if you choose to stand, you got a shot at putting this back together. If if I'm if I'm reading this story right, if you choose to stand, you got a shot at putting it back together. But it's your oh, choice. Okay. It's your choice. 
Okay. Have you talked yeah, to one of our no, any, I understand. Have you talked to any of our client representatives here about what we can do to help? Um, just briefly, I was coming from um, work at the time. Uh -huh. um, I I don't remember who I spoke with. Okay. Well, they'll have a record. If you'll call back, they'll have a record and they can make sure that he or she can talk to you again. But that's what I strongly recommend, my friend, that you call in and talk to the client rep because I think, my opinion could be wrong, but I think you've got a shot at this if you can, if you can stick in it, if you can. Okay? Thank you so much, Andre. Got it. Okay.